back to my channel. Um, today I am going to do my April products that I purchased and loved. Um, and these are like my favorite kind of videos to do, so I'm really excited about it. And um, if you haven't already, just click the subscribe button down at the bottom. Um, and at the end of this video, if you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let's just kind of jump right in. I have a lot of things to go through here. Um, so one of the things that I got was this Spa Scriptions Pore Refining Spa Treatment Mask. I have used about three of them. Ten of these come in a box, and I think the box was like $15.99, um, so it's a pretty good deal, and I can't even tell you how well it moisturizes my face after, after I use them, so this was definitely something I will be rebuying again when I run out. This I got at TJ Maxx. For $9.99, it's normally, I think, $21.99. Um, it's the Bedhead After Party, so you use it on your hair. My hair is really curly. I have really curly hair. I know that I straighten it well in all my videos, so you wouldn't see that it's really curly. So I actually use two different products in my hair. I use the It's a 10, which I've been using this for years and years. Um, it's the Miracle Leave-In and it's a, like a heat protectant and anti frizz helps you straighten it blah 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 but this you put on once you're done doing your hair and it just kind of smooths it it's a cream it smooths it out it doesn't leave it greasy um i really really like this i think i actually might even like it better than the it's a 10 so that was a definite keeper for me um and then on the same um, track as hair. I got this, the OGX. I got the Silk Blowout. It's a uh, dry shampoo and it smells really, really good and it works really, really well and isn't super powdery. I don't like my dry shampoo to have a lot of powder. My hair is very dark, so you can see it um, in my hair. I look like I have powder in my hair basically, because I do. Um, but this does not do that. So I was super thrilled with that product. And I also got the OGX um, Renewing and Argan Oil Morocco Elevated Finish Shampoo, which gives me a little bit more body when I straighten my hair than any other shampoo that I've used. And these both were, I think, $9.99. I think they were on sale. Um... Okay, let's get into like my face wash. I'm gonna do the makeup last because I did get a lot. Of, oh, I got this this month. I finally got one of these. It's one of those flawless touches. Um, I used to use a like a depuratory cream. I think that's what they're called, and it was um, from Sally Hansen, and it just kind of stopped working. I don't know if my face just got used to it, but I would have to leave it on so long that it would actually burn. Um, so I was like, what the hell am I gonna do? So I saw like the commercial for this and it's super, super gentle and it doesn't grow back any longer or thicker or anything. So I've been using that. Um, I love that. And my skincare, I got this, if you guys remember, in my BoxyCharm subscription this month. This is the Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner by Dr. Brandt. I've been using this on my nose and up on my forehead and pretty much any place on my face that I'm super oily and my pores just seem to be larger. And um, I can't even tell you the difference that it's made. It's actually pretty amazing. It's the only product I've ever used that's ev ever seen a difference in my pores with. So um, when this runs out, I will definitely be restocking that as well. So my morning routine, um, I just use a regular witch hazel toner on my face and then I've been using this Garnier Skin Active Moisture, Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. And this stuff is awesome. It is super hydrating, but it doesn't, um, wish you guys I wish I could explain it it's a gel so it doesn't 
feel heavy like a cream. It's really light and refreshing and it's nice. It's cool. Like it's cool to touch even though it just, just sits in the bathroom. Um, so this I have really, really been liking. And I have this is what I clean my face with daily. This is the CTFO Daily Facial Cleanser. It is um, a face cleanser with CBD oil in it. And um, a friend of mine had recommended it and I have been using this for about maybe three weeks. I think I started this one at the end of March. Um, and I've seen a huge, huge improvement in my skin. I mean, it's unbelievable the improvement that I have seen in my skin since I started using this. Um, since, since I have the makeup eraser, sometimes I am a little bit lazy at night and I will take my makeup off the makeup eraser and say, eh, I don't really need to wash my face. Um, so I did that a couple times and like maybe like a five day stretch of it and I definitely noticed a difference. So um, I will definitely be getting this again. This was $49 I think. I bought it off of the CTFO website. Um, this is awesome. This is absolutely amazing. I'm definitely going to keep um, using that. And then this is just the night cream with tea tree essential oil that I use. I just found this at I was looking for like a night cream that wasn't necessarily anti-wrinkle or um, you know just just a night cream so I got this it's super light um, I really like this and when I wake up in the morning my face is still really hydrated and that's all I really want out of my skin cream so I think that's it for oh and then this I got this is Luxology deep firming cream so I put this on pretty much my whole body when I get out of the shower. And it has like a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's actually really pretty. Um, you're not gonna be able to see it, but um, it's really, it smells like rose. It's, I love, obsessed with anything that smells like rose. Okay, you can take it. Okay, so that, oh, and then these, the Rose and Collagen Face Serum Oil. I've been putting this on my cheeks. My cheeks have been really dry right here. Um, and it's getting better, but I've been using this on them. This is the Rose Collagen Face Serum. And it's just an oil. And I put one drop on each cheek and I just rub it in before I put my makeup on for underneath my primer. Um, and I haven't broken out from it. And it smells amazing. And it makes my skin feel amazing. I love this. This I got at Marshall's. And I think I paid like $4.99 for it. I don't know what the regular price was on it. Like the full retail price but um, definitely if you see that would recommend it. it smells awesome so my big foundation change um, I did do the I had the ABH foundation stick which I still do use um, but on days where I feel like I just need like a fuller coverage I got this this is the Clinique beyond perfecting foundation and concealer in one um, I love the formula it d doesn't have like a big strong smell to it the only thing that I don't that I hate is that it doesn't have a pump I hate these applicators I don't know why people think these are a good idea I I friggin hate them there's just no other way if I wish I could get a pump and put a pump on here I would do it because I friggin hate that applicator so much but the formula of this is fantastic. Um, it matches my skin like to a T. Um, and it, I, I really don't need concealer with it. Like I can build it up under my eyes where I need it or build it up over a blemish if I need it and it works fine. Um, yeah, so that was, that was a big score. I'll probably be definitely getting that again. Um, as far as my foundation goes, it's, by far the best one it blows I hate to even say it um the Fenty out of the water it really does I loved my Fenty so much but this one is so much better for my skin it just it just is um so I got these lipsticks at Nordstrom Rack these are Urban Decay lip glosses and this is in Gash, and this is 
fail bait. It's like a red and a pink. And then I got these as well, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Lip Pencil and Rush. And this is the Urban Decay, um, it's just a lip gloss in, or a lipstick, of a matte in the color is back up. And then I also got this Urban Decay powder. And this is what I use to set my foundation with. And it works really, really well. These two together are like a flawless combo. I love them. I've been super happy with that. And I got this. I've been using this a lot. The Skin Kiss Highlighter from Makeup Revolution. And I have three more things left. I got this Ellen Tracy Radiant Glow. I've been using this. Like This is like my everyday. I wear this to work. The colors are not... Um, super dark and it's actually what I'm wearing right now. They blend really well and they, um, it's like a whole face in here. So it's in the morning, just easy two minutes, throw that on and go. I got this Pro Fusion Glare and Glam Highlighter and Contour Palette. Um, these three are the ones that I use the most. I set my under eye with that one and I use these two to contour the highlighter and that one I don't really use all that much. And then I got this Makeup Revolution Reloaded Palette, and I love these colors. Look at these colors, guys. So nice. Um, and they blend really well. There's a little bit of fallout, you know, and kick, kick back in the pan, whatever, but for like seven bucks, I'm not gonna complain. And then last but not least is my new ColourPop lippy stick that I got in with the band, and it's a pretty pink. Matt, I love the ColourPop lippies. Um, and this, I usually get like one a month. I try to get like one a month, try a new one. Maybe once or twice a month. Maybe sometimes three times a month. That's it. That's all of my good finds. I didn't really find anything. I didn't really purchase anything that I didn't love. The only thing I did try give a stab at was um, the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. And I, it just isn't, people rave about it and I don't get it. It just did nothing for me. Like it doesn't sit well on my skin. It doesn't dry down on my skin. So I am just sticking with my it. Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Under Eye Primer. That's the one that I've been using. It works really well. I don't know why I find a product that works really well and then I get an idea from somebody else that something might work better and I always go and try it and it never works better. I don't know why I try to fix things that aren't broken. It's just a waste of money, really, when I think about it. Um, yeah, so that's it. Those are my picks for April. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And um, then the next few videos that I'm going to put up are going to be a part of my um, History of Makeup series. I've already had the first video go out, which was the 1940s, but I wanted to squeak this one in here before the end of the month. Um, to make sure that I got this done because last month I kind of missed the boat and by the time I was ready to do it, it was like the middle of April and I was like, well, I'm not going to do March products in the middle of April. I don't know. I dropped, I dropped the ball on that one. But um, if you liked the video that you saw today, please give me a thumbs up. If you um, haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys soon with a another video on in my history of makeup series and that's it mm. love you guys bye